for hotels in particular, back-end operations and procedures, another key area, um, you know, that hotels are looking at improving. So particularly for, you know, night audit finance teams um, that are responsible for, responsible for, you know, end of day reconciliation. At the moment, a lot of hotels that are manual, well, those processes that are done at the back end are very manual as well, right? So hotels where, you know, they're running these offline standalone solutions, it is very manual with, you know, the finance or the night audit person going around at night and tearing off the order report from each terminal. It's time consuming. Whereas with the integration, um, we offer a great merchant portal um, where hotels can log into to view reporting, uh, real-time transaction data, and also cancel pre which if we had more time, we could probably go on for that, but that may be another whole series for you on pre Okay. Um, but yeah, so what, <laughs> what I'm alluding to is, yeah, our merchant portal offers like it's a great opportunity for you know these back end teams as well to make reconciliation a lot easier. So a lot of our reporting that we generate at the end of the day essentially saves the need to go around to the payment terminals uh, and tear off the order report. Everything's emailed, available in the portal, so you know you can easily go in and check on a transaction if you need to, and yeah, view and download reports as well. It makes sense. I started part of my term at the hotel was night audit yeah and and that verification process as you said if you are manually entering the amount on the guest balance into the terminal there has to be a verification done at some point if it's automatically sent directly to the terminal then there is no need it you know it can't be wrong so that in itself would save uh, a great deal of time I would assume yeah you're absolutely right and yeah, I think with the integration, the way that I guess our sales pitch to hotels is essentially view your PMS or point of sale and your terminal as one. You know, whatever you've processed via the PMS or the point of sale is essentially what's going to be processed on the payment terminal. And, you know, furthermore, you know, if they want to check on these transactions, as I mentioned, they can leverage the merchant portal uh, where they can quite easily just log in um, and check on a transaction. And that's quite useful, you know, for back office. Uh, and, you know, finance teams as well uh, to have that remote access to what's going on at the front desk or in food and beverage as well, particularly if you're, you know, having a guest call up and complain or query um, a charge to their account. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. 